Tell me about Donald Trump. Because obviously there are so many perceptions of him out in Asia and the world, to be honest. You know, I did The Apprentice. I met him a few times. I did The Apprentice Asia. But but you know him in a completely different level. Um, tell me what attracts you to him and what do you like about him and, and what you don't like about him. Uh, so I've, I've been friends with him for 20 years. He uh, gave us our first shot. Uh, you, you know, when we first bought this thing, the, the, this isn't as popular as it is now. Venues didn't even want us. Yeah. Arenas didn't want us. And he, he called me up and said, come on out here to the Trump Taj Mahal. We'd love to have you. Cut us a great deal. We did two shows there. He showed up from the first fight to the last fight, both shows. Every good thing after that that ever happened to me in my career, that guy picked up the phone and called me and said, hey, congratulations. I always knew you guys were going to do it. You know, always. And, and think about this. Back then, the Trump brand was here. Yeah. UFC brand was down here. Right. And But he saw it. He saw that this thing had the possibility to be big. And uh, when he said he was going to run for president, you know, I started hearing from the media that, that he was going to call me to speak at the Republican National Convention. And I said, I, I have no idea. Sure enough, he called and asked me to do it. Everybody told me, you know, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay out of the middle of this shit. I said, this guy's been good to me for 20 years. I like the guy. I'm going to show up and speak. I showed up. I spoke. Um, what did you speak he about? What did he you ends speak up becoming about? the president of the United States. Yeah. What did you speak and about? Let me tell you how this guy treated me Yeah. while he yeah. was the president. I mean, I'm sure you've seen pictures. I've been on Air Force One. You know, I've been to dinners in the White House. I've, you know, just, I, 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 I have so much. I love the guy. I love him. And, and you know, take aside politics and all that, I think what you said there is he stood by you, he helped you, and you don't forget. You're not a fair weather friend. And that's exactly. Important. I'm going through that now. You know, COVID has taught me a lot about uh, who's your real friend, you know, and oh, uh, yeah. who's there when you really need them and who made so much money out of you for 19 years. And when you need a little bit of help, they drop you like a hot potato. And I did a TV interview, a radio interview yesterday, and I said, Long after I've gone, when I'm six foot under, I still won't forget how certain people treated us. But boy, to right. those guys who were stuck with us, I'm there for them for the rest of their life, whatever they need. And that's a really great lesson for all of you listening. And that, again, is another reason why I love this guy. You know, love him or hate him, Donald Trump, whatever. Dana is his friend, and he's going he's gonna, to you know, stand up for him and, and tell, him, tell the world what he really feels. Uh, what was it like talking at the Republican National Convention? <laughs> Did you yeah, ever imagine guys, as a kid in you, Boston you you'd be doing to, that? You don't, have, you don't have to like somebody that I like. You know, th this guy's my friend. He's done a lot of things for me. He's a good guy. Um, you know, say what you want, think what you want. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions of everybody. It's yeah. like you. The, the first day I met you, listen, I, I'm one of these guys. You're either my kind of guy or you're not my kind of guy. You were my kind of guy the first day we met. Matt, you and I hit it off, and you and I have been friends ever since, and we will be friends till the end of time. So, um, yeah, that's that's the way that I'm built. And yes, the the the, the Republican National Convention was, convention was crazy, um, but but I loved it. You know, I, I like getting up and talking about things like you said earlier that I'm passionate about. And uh, and you know, Donald Trump was always a good friend to me. And it was pretty easy to get up just like it is here and tell you all the things this guy's done and, and uh, why I would stand up and tell everybody he, he, he's a good friend. You think he'll run again? I don't know. I, you know, <laughs> we talked a couple. I called him for his birthday. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't talk politics. Yeah. But what, what's your feeling? You think he would? You know him. He's a fighter. Yeah, I, I think he probably would. Yeah. <laughs>